If you come home from the grocery store and shove your food into the refrigerator anywhere it will fit, then I imagine you're throwing a lot of it out in a few weeks time. In this video, we'll show you how proper food storage will help you with that. Although typically you would set one control to a specific temperature, you will find that the fresh food compartment of your refrigerator has different temperature zones. Normally you will find that the upper shelves and the doors will be the warmest areas and the bottom shelves and crispers will be cooler. The door or doors on your fresh food compartment are going to be the warmest zones in your refrigerator. So while it is tempting to keep items that you want easy access to on the doors, milk cartons and eggs should be kept somewhere else. So try placing less perishable items such as condiments on the door bins. Now although the upper shelves are a slightly warmer location in your refrigerator, they are also very easily accessible and an ideal spot for snacks and leftovers. Keep in mind, however, that this is also the area that the cold air enters your fresh food compartment. Therefore, you'll want to be sure that you don't place perishable items directly in that airflow. Since cold air drops, the bottom shelves are going to be the coolest part of your refrigerator. This makes it the ideal location for storing such things as raw meat, poultry, seafood, or eggs. Next, let's look at our crisper drawers. Do you know the proper settings and which foods to keep in your crisper drawers? Most crisper drawers will have a feature that will allow you to choose between a low or high humidity within them. That may be either a slider control or an adjustable dial that you can choose between a low and high humidity. If your crisper drawers do not have this option, by default they are considered high humidity drawers. This is due to the lack of airflow into and out of the crisper. Generally, fruit will be the main items being stored in a low humidity setting. The reason for keeping fruit in the low humidity drawer is because many fruits produce ethylene as they ripen, which in turn speeds up the ripening or rotting process of surrounding produce. The increased airflow in a low humidity crisper drawer lets that ethylene gas escape. Now let's look at items that should be stored in a high humidity drawer. Items that are prone to moisture loss or wilting should be stored in a high humidity crisper drawer. Items like leafy greens, herbs, and vegetables in general should be kept here. Since the drawer is sealed off from the rest of the refrigerator, the produce is not exposed to the ethylene gas. The humid environment helps keep the produce fresh for longer, which explains the name crisper drawer. Now that we've covered the fresh food section of your refrigerator, we'd like to share with you some tips on storing food in your freezer. Food kept in the freezer will generally be safe to eat for months on end, so long as it has stayed frozen the entire time. The quality of the food, however, may diminish over time. Qualities like the color, smell, taste, or texture of the food can change. Freezer burned food is still safe to eat, but will have the quality suffer the most. The best way to prevent freezer burn is to properly store the food. For example, don't freeze meat in the original foam tray you bought them in. Any plastic bags or containers you use should be freezer grade quality. Air is the ultimate enemy, so make sure lids and seals are airtight. If you are freezing leftovers, ensure that they have cooled completely before putting them in the freezer, as steam will cause ice crystals. Thank you so much for watching this video today. We certainly hope the tips that we've shared with you will help you preserve your food longer and save you money. For more videos on appliance repair, maintenance and cleaning tips, be sure to visit our website. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.